Welcome to News Beacon, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Imagine the American desert, vast, sun-baked, and seemingly inhospitable. The ground stretches endlessly, cracked and parched beneath a relentless sun, with only the hardiest plants clinging to life. It's a place where survival is a daily struggle and the silence is broken only by the wind. Now, picture something massive and unexpected, an American bison, a living symbol of the Great Plains, suddenly roaming this arid world. Their hulking forms seem almost out of place, yet strangely majestic against the stark landscape. The idea of releasing hundreds of bison into a desert sounded reckless to many, even impossible. But this was no random act, it was a carefully planned ecological experiment designed to test the limits of both the land and the animals. For centuries, bison were seen as creatures of the grasslands, perfectly adapted to rolling prairies. But what if their role in nature was bigger than we ever imagined? Could these ancient giants help heal even the harshest, most degraded landscapes? Scientists selected a struggling desert region in the U.S., a place where native plants and animals were disappearing, and prepared to introduce these iconic animals. Fences were built, monitoring equipment installed, and the stage was set for a bold new chapter in conservation. The project sparked both excitement and skepticism. Could bison really survive, let alone thrive, in such a harsh and unforgiving place? Local communities, conservationists, and scientists all watched with a mix of hope and doubt. Food and water would be scarce and the heat would be relentless. Every day would test the bison's resilience and adaptability in ways never seen before. Many doubted the bison would last, fearing a conservation tragedy. The risk was real, failure could mean not just the loss of animals, but a blow to the idea of restoring wild places. Yet, as the first trucks rolled in and the bison stepped onto the desert floor, the world watched. This was more than a scientific trial, it was a bold gamble, a test of nature's resilience, and a moment of hope for restoration. Over the next decade, the bison's presence would challenge everything we thought we knew about their relationship with the land. Their impact would ripple through the ecosystem, changing not just the plants but the very fabric of the desert itself. This was more than animal survival, it was about transforming an entire ecosystem bringing life back to a place many had written off as barren and lost. The desert was about to gain a new, unlikely architect, one whose story was just beginning to unfold across the sun-baked sands. Why release bison into a desert? At first glance, it might seem like an odd choice. After all, deserts are known for their harsh, dry conditions, not for supporting massive animals. The answer lies in rewilding, restoring ecosystems by bringing back missing large animals that once played a crucial role in shaping the land. The Chihuahuan Desert wasn't always barren. Thousands of years ago, ancient bison herds roamed these lands, shaping the ecosystem with their presence and behaviors. But over time, overgrazing by cattle and other livestock degraded the soil, stripping away native grasses and leaving only tough, unpalatable shrubs behind. Bison are true ecosystem engineers. Their heavy hooves break up hard, compacted soil, allowing precious rainwater to soak in and giving seeds a chance to sprout and grow. Unlike cattle, bison graze selectively, moving constantly and encouraging a mosaic of grasses and wildflowers to flourish which boosts plant diversity and resilience. Scientists believe that reintroducing bison could kickstart the recovery process, grazing, fertilizing and gradually transforming the landscape back into a vibrant living grassland. This transformation would benefit not just plants but countless other species, birds, small mammals, insects and even predators that depend on healthy grasslands. The site for release was carefully chosen for its potential to recover, and the bison themselves came from a healthy, adaptable population, ready for a new challenge. This was no random release, it was a carefully planned scientific effort, designed to test whether bison could truly spark a desert revival and restore balance to the ecosystem. The ultimate goal, survival, transformation, and creating a model for restoring arid lands not just here, but around the world. The stage was set for a groundbreaking ecological experiment, one that could change how we think about deserts and their potential for renewal. All eyes were on the desert waiting to see if these giants could bring life back to the land. The day of release was tense with anticipation. Trucks arrived carrying hundreds of bison to the desert's edge. As the gates opened, the bison hesitated, then stepped into a world of dry air and sparse vegetation. They clustered together, wary but resilient, exploring their new home. 
Scientists watched closely, would the bison find water? Guided by instinct, the herd soon moved off, searching for life-sustaining resources. In days they adapted, seeking out native grasses and resting in shade during the hottest hours. Their ancient instincts kicked in helping them navigate the unfamiliar terrain. The herd's social structure emerged, matriarchs led, bulls established hierarchy, calves learned from their mothers. The bison moved as a single intelligent force, mapping out their territory. Their presence brought new energy to a long, silent landscape. Against the odds, the bison were not just surviving, they were thriving. The experiment was underway. Over the years, the bison began to transform the land. Their hooves broke up the hard sun-baked soil, allowing rain to soak in and seeds to sprout. Native grasses, dormant for years, began to return. Bison grazing prevented any one plant from dominating, opening space for wildflowers and boosting biodiversity. Their manure fertilized the poor soil and dung beetles helped recycle nutrients. The result, a self-sustaining cycle of renewal. Within five years, once monotonous scrubland became a mosaic of grasses and flowers. Satellite images confirmed the change, the reserve was visibly greener. The restored grasslands held water better, resisted erosion, and supported more life. The bison's simple actions, walking, grazing, fertilizing, set off a cascade of positive change. The desert was healing from the ground up. The experiment was working. The new grasslands attracted a wave of returning wildlife. Insects flourished, drawing bees, butterflies, and pollinators back to the region. Birds followed, meadowlarks, larks, and quail found new nesting grounds, while raptors hunted the growing populations of small mammals. Prairie dogs expanded their colonies, creating homes for owls, ferrets, and snakes. Larger herbivores like pronghorn and mule deer returned, drawn by improved forage. Coyotes and even mountain lions followed, attracted by abundant prey. The ecosystem rebuilt itself, from insects to apex predators. The bison's presence rippled through the food web, restoring balance. The desert was alive with sound and movement once more. The bison stood at the center of this revival. Ten years in, the project was a clear success. Grasslands thrived, wildlife returned, and the bison herd was healthy. But scientists noticed something odd. Certain spots were turning lush and green much faster than others. These weren't random patches or linked to underground springs. The team mapped these oases and found no geological explanation. The mystery deepened. What was creating these vibrant pockets? Researchers shifted focus, searching for the cause of these unexpected green zones. The answer would reveal a hidden talent of the bison, something no one had predicted. It was more than grazing or soil aeration at work. The bison were doing something extraordinary, concentrating life in these specific places. The discovery would change everything scientists thought they knew about bison. The desert's transformation had one more secret to reveal. The bison's impact was about to get even bigger. The breakthrough came during the hottest, driest months, when the land was parched and the sun beat down relentlessly. In these extreme conditions, survival seemed almost impossible for most creatures. Scientists observed bison digging deep pits in dry stream beds, using their powerful hooves and massive heads to break through the cracked earth and reach the hidden water table below. This behavior was both surprising and ingenious. These bison dug wells soon filled with groundwater, creating temporary pools that offered precious relief for the thirsty herd. The bison would drink deeply, quenching their thirst in the midst of the desert, but the real surprise came after the bison moved on. Other animals from miles around flocked to these new water sources drawn by the scent and sight of fresh water in the barren landscape. Badgers, coyotes, birds, and even insects all depended on these wells for survival. The waterholes became lifelines for a wide variety of desert dwellers, each one relying on the bison's hard work. The bison weren't just finding water for themselves, they were providing it for the entire ecosystem, supporting a web of life that stretched far beyond their own herd. These wells became vibrant hubs of life, critical gathering points in the parched landscape where animals could drink, feed, and interact. The oases pulsed with activity, especially during the harshest times. The green patches seen from space were centered on these bison-made oases, standing out as rare jewels of life and color in an otherwise brown and barren expanse. The bison had become true water providers, fundamentally changing the desert's ecology and shaping the landscape in ways no one had expected. 
This keystone behavior was previously unknown and had profound effects, prompting scientists to rethink the bison's role in the ecosystem and the importance of their actions. The bison were not just restoring grasslands, they were creating a network of life-giving oases, each one supporting countless forms of life and connecting the desert in new ways. Their role as ecosystem engineers was even greater than anyone imagined, revealing the hidden power of these ancient animals to transform and sustain entire landscapes. The discovery of bison well digging was a game changer for conservation. It showed that reintroducing large animals can have complex, unexpected benefits, like creating water sources for entire ecosystems. The project proved that restoring animal populations is a powerful tool for healing damaged lands. Long-term observation was key. Only after a decade did the full impact become clear. The experiment inspired similar rewilding projects worldwide, with conservationists rethinking the roles of elephants, wild horses and more. The bison became ambassadors for a new conservation philosophy, let nature's engineers do the work. Their ancient instincts passed down through generations reshaped the land. By bringing them back we reawakened lost ecological wisdom, the lesson, trust in nature's own solutions to restore balance. The bison's story is a testament to the power of wildness. Ten years on, the bison have not just survived. They've transformed the desert. Their story is proof that wild creatures can heal even the harshest landscapes. The Chihuahuan Desert now teems with life, water and diversity, thanks to the bison's return. This project is a model for global conservation, showing that rewilding works. The bison's journey is a story of connection, between animal and land, water and life, past and future. By restoring bison, we restored a vital relationship and helped the desert heal itself. What began as a gamble became a beacon of hope for conservation everywhere. The desert's revival is a wild and wonderful thing.